All right, do you have knee pain and you work at a desk? We're gonna show you three ways to get some relief while you're working. There you go, Bob. Just hold on. Bob and Brad, the two most famous physical therapists on the internet. All right, the first one, Brad, is very simple. All we're gonna have you do is bend and straighten the knee every hour, or you could even do it every half hour yep. if you want. How many reps, Bob? 10. 10, 10, 10. I like that number 10. Right, it's gonna strengthen the knee and get a little range of motion. Right. So I wanna emphasize, duty. Bob, that you should, when you straighten it, you go as high as you can and right. lock that out and come all the way down and do them meaningfully, 10 on each leg. It's gonna make you feel better in the knees and just wake you up Seems a little bit. Seems simple, but it works. Absolutely. Okay, another, another, okay, another really desirable thing to do is actually keep the knee moving for like 15 minutes, 20 minutes straight. You're right. Now, you can put a, a rag on the floor and try to slide along, <laughs> but that doesn't work very well. Right. So we're going to recommend using the knee glide or the flick glide. Right. Knee glide first, Brad. Why don't yep. we talk about this? So if you just have one knee and you want to, maybe it's arthritic or you one have surgery. One knee that hurts. Yeah. <laughs> Well, that's just possible. I had a friend who had a surgery, in meniscus surgery, and he used this in his desk, and it worked out very well. And he would just work it like such. Um, and he would do that for five or ten minutes, a couple times an hour, yeah. and it made a big difference versus just letting that knee be stiff. Right. Obviously, after a knee replacement, this is a good, really good idea. Yep. And you can put these up on an angle, and which is helpful. You can turn that around, which works the hamstrings more. Again, different varieties. Now and there, for a double of fun, yeah, you, you actually get the thick glide. Yep. You can actually move both legs at the same time. And, and it's really easy to do while you're working. I'm pretending I'm typing, Brad. Yeah. I, yeah there, you're doing really good, Bob. How many words a minute can you do? <laughs> You know, um, we should show show the, show them what this looks like. We'll pick it up and sure. show them because there are other They're devices. Both really lightweight. Yeah, there are other devices that pedal. Right. The problem with those is show them the front. That's the ugly side. Oh. Um, is that the problem? Is they're heavy and they're awkward well, and not they get they're in the way. Heavy, but they also rely on a lot of room under the desk. You're yeah. pedaling, you're hitting the desk. Yeah. But this is, yeah. you're just going straight. Can you imagine, every time you go around your knee, right. it's that boom, 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 boom. It's like an earthquake going right. on. Right. <laughs> These work really well. Is there anything else, Bob? No, that's it. We'll, we'll do one more tip. Oh, we do one more. Hang on. All right, the final thing, Brad, you can try is actually get, reestablish your range of motion in your knee. Mm -hmm. So you want to first work on flexion, Okay. Getting the knee bent as much as possible. Mm. So, so you can actually grab it. And yep. Grab onto the tibia and pull it towards you. So in your chair, this is one time we allow poor posture. Right. Scoot Slide your forward. bottom forward and then bend it. And then you can grab lower or higher, whatever seems to work better. You get more leverage down here, but sometimes it works better when you grab up closer to the knee. Yeah. And there. pressure off, pressure oh. off, do like 10 reps. Yeah. And you may find that one knee flexes a little better than the other one, so you're going to work on that one. If any of these create any sharp pain, then you should not do it, maybe a little bit, but not too aggressive. All right. Extension? Yep, let's start with extension. All right. So we want to get that knee to straighten out. You can do it while you're doing your long arc quads, but if you need a little overpressure, then you're going to want to put it on the floor, and you can just go like this and stretch it. You it can also externally rotate. Yep, oh here, let's do this. Yep. Are we still over here? If you rotate your foot one way, sometimes that'll give you better range with less pain. Whatever way feels best. This way, yep, so you got you three options. Pain. Now, it actually can work better. If you got a smooth, shiny floor, you can take a shoe off, <laughs> so your foot slides. Right. You'll wear your sock out a little bit, but that's okay, it's for the knee, and do the same thing uh, like that. If you happen to have the knee glide or the fit glide, that works well because it's very smooth, very easy. And, it's and you a, can push down. Yep. Uh, yeah. I just want to say one thing, Brad. Most people that lack extension don't even know it. I mean, right. it's very subtle. Yep. I mean, your, your knee really needs to go fully straight. Right. And some knees, even it's not a little a, bit beyond. Yep. Even. A little hyperextension right. is, is not abnormal. Yep. You can compare one leg to the other, and you might be amazed where one goes straight down, and, and you'll see, oh, this is oh, an inch higher. Oh, that's a problem, child. Yep. And maybe that's why you limp a little bit. Not you didn't right. know it. 
Yeah, it all fits together, doesn't all it, right. Bob? Put all three together and we'll get rid of that pain. All right. One thing we uh, have not figured out how to fix yet, Bob, is... A broken heart. A broken heart. Yes, sir. You like we... how to do that? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the claw. <laughs> Anyways, oh, they're over there now. Yeah, These thanks. cameras are freaking us out. 